So remember when we was up at uh, uh, Bramford Edge? Well, that is just literally through them trees, and I think that would have been an easier route to have taken than maybe park the car where I've parked it, which is just down this road. It's just literally down that road there. Uh, I've walked up, and you could you could see the sort of makeshift paths that the people have made to get up to Bramford Edge, and I think that would have been a lot less effort. So I've gone for um, a long exposure, I have 20 seconds. I've put the big stopper on, I'm shooting at ISO 100 and uh, aperture of F8. Got the tripod stuck to the wall. So I'm hoping for something very special. Let's crack a shot out. Man, that noise is amazing. You know when you've never heard it before? So I've put the two second self timer on just to stop any uh, you know, crazy shake or shiver from myself. Seems pretty, pretty steady. So we'll just wait for the shot. Oh, oh, oh look at that beauty. Oh, wow. can I do with that? I'll probably take a shot from over there, looking across, we've got these towers, but it's pretty amazing weren't it and it was so easy, so easy. I've decided to travel a little bit lighter, it, you know, and it makes everything so much easier. But look at this. How many gallons of water is just being sucked down there? It's crazy. So out of the two holes, the drainage holes, I think this one's my favourite. Uh, just because of the fact that we've got um, Bramford Edge in it. It's like something's on fire, look up, uh, up there. That's strange. Yeah, so... And what, but the only downfall to this is with the sun shining so close to us, it's reflecting off the water. So what I've done is I've set up a little filter system. I've put a, a, nine, a 0 0.9 stop graduated filter on just to try and balance the sun. I'm going to give it a go, see, see what it looks like. I think all it'll do is just take a little bit of that glare off, but it is very nice. Look at it glistening, it's beautiful. I love it. But yeah, this is definitely the best composition. I don't know what's on fire up there. Very straight. Oh, look, it's beautiful, but look, you see that glare in this bottom corner here. I guess it's just too much. I suppose I could reverse, reverse it totally. Let's have a look. So it's basically on upside down. Let's give it a go. So I'm shooting the F8 with an exposure of 20 seconds at ISO 100. Well, something's well burning up there. Look at it. It's a good job I did that first. That's crazy. 
You see, it's still there, but wow, what an image. I love the little tree in the top right hand corner. It's a beautiful day, so I can't knock it. Can't knock it, it's beautiful. So I think I'm just going to do a few shots around here now and then I'm going to make my way over, see if I can get a shot on the bridge and then we're going to go over to the Derwent Dam where I'm ready for a well-earned cuppa. Okay guys. Yeah, went down and look at it look overflowing that's great to see it really is spectacular so obviously I put a big stopper on and the polarizing filter just to try and cut some of this glare out and try and see the bottom of the water it looks pretty good really busy here today though So I've gone for a 30 second exposure at F8 and ISO of 100. Seems to be the usual setting for today. So I'm about done for the day. I'm just going to hang around here for 10, 15 minutes. Take one or two photos. I'm absolutely drained, I really am. It's a tough old day. I think that done me, you know that walk up at uh, Bramford Edge. Sometimes you can bite off a little bit more than you can chew. It's worth it, ain't it? <laughs> I can see why it's sometimes easier just to set out to do one photo and go out, but I just can't do it. So much to see, so much to do. I've got to take it all in and love it. So I'm going to call it a day now and I'm finishing off here at Fair Homes which is visitors centre at the Derwent Dam. You can get yourself a brew for £1.80 and a sausage bap or bacon bap or cheese and onion whatever you want uh, for £2.60 which is about right so it's not expensive. Car park was 
two pounds fifty for two hours, which for me, what I've done just now is plenty. A summary of the day: don't bite off more than you can chew. I feel the three locations was too much. I should have just done Bramford Edge and Lady Bower sinkholes, or sinkholes in here. Not all three. It's too much. Way too much. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave you there. I'm going to say a big thank you to everybody that's helped over the last few months with giving me ideas, places to go, and all your comments. I really appreciate them, and all your likes and shares. So, oh, if you're not, if you've not seen it yet, if you go over to the Facebook page, there's a link at the top in the in the banner. Uh, that will take you to the Facebook page. Now, I get a lot of personal Facebook requests, and I don't mean to be rude, but I don't think you really want to see me laughing and joking with my cousins and, and just talking about everyday stuff. That's why I set up the photography photo um, Facebook page. So don't think that I'm ignoring you when I don't reply. I just don't think that you really want to listen to me rabbling on with my brother and my cousins and everybody else. So if you want to join the Facebook page, there's a link at the top, go for it. Also the Instagram and uh, the little website, the Adobe website. And I just want to say thank you to everybody for all your comments, likes and shares. Okay, take care and uh, don't forget, get out and shoot. <laughs> you know you want to. Cheers guys, see you soon.